What's wrong? Old Mother Cupboard's being stingy. I don't thought we should see this. Our supplies are dwindling. Give it a limited rations. So that's it then. Why would someone put us here just to let us starve? It doesn't make any sense. At least we still have running water. Yeah, but water isn't very filling. Anyone have any ideas? Yeah. Let's kill Arl. We need him. Yeah, but he'd make a bigger meal. Teresa, where'd you put the knife? Well, well, well. The little mouse is growing a backbone. I hear that usually happens following attempted homicide. Unless anyone has a better plan, it's time to reduce our intake again. How about half a can per person per day? We're going to get very skinny very fast. Better than being very dead. Oh, yeah, right. That's next Tuesday. Teresa, you still with us? I have a notion. Uh-oh. Is it psychic groceries? Because I hear they're not very filling. We could attempt to communicate with the power, the intelligence behind our captivity. I thought we agreed. No one's coming to help us. They would have been here already when the outworlders came. I tend to agree with your interpretation. But perhaps we simply haven't communicated effectively in a manner that our captors or caretakers would understand. We don't know how. That's the problem. We could attempt to utilize my abilities. You mean like a seance? We no longer employ the old terminology. I was thinking more along the lines of a mental distress signal. Like an SOS. Precisely. The nothingness that seems to fill the space around this house, it could operate in our favor. If it proves to be a medium, like ether, it might be conducive to mental transmission. Well, what if all we reach is more of those things? They'll know we're running out of food and you said they wanted to come back. Maybe we could capture one of them. Eat it. Oh yeah, I hear those bastards taste like chicken. There is danger in this course. I have no illusion. It might not work. And something that is detrimental to our continued existence may intercept the transmission and our vulnerability would be revealed. It's not like we have many options either. Yeah, but... You seek scientific basis for what I suggest? That's how my head is wired. I'm sorry. Not everything in life can be established empirically, Bill. Within every human being is contained higher wisdom, power, knowledge. The innate capacity to reach a plateau of higher self. Enlightenment. My training taught me to tap into those abilities. I wish you could understand that. I understand your beliefs, Teresa, but what you're talking about here is essentially prayer. And forgive me, but the power of prayer has been studied extensively and has never proven to have any measurable impact as a method of communication. I just keep coming back to our choices. We can't exactly go shopping or order out. I can't really go hunting either. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen any bugs or other creepy crawlies in case anybody wants to go all Renfield. I can merely offer my services, my training, and establish the postulate that doing something is always preferable to doing nothing. Well, I'm on board. I've always wanted to be part of a seance. Well, I guess it's bell book and candle time. Even if we had those materials available, Travis, we wouldn't use them. They're always merely ceremonial. Please, relax, empty your minds, silence the traffic in your senses, close your eyes, seek not focus, but the cessation of all thought. Carlo's hand is sweaty. Shut up, will you? Please, let go of here. There is no past, no future. Only one eternal moment of now. Forget your past. Quell all anticipation of the future. Let slip the static construct we call time. Be. Simply be. Let us be seen. The one who can see us, do so. Let us be seen and understood. See us. Give us the means to resolve our dilemma. I don't think it's working. How can you tell? Your eyes are supposed to be shut. Oh, sorry, forgot. One who can see us, do so. See.
done here, or is one of us going to levitate? I sense no intelligence past this circle. Neither here nor beyond. I'm sorry. So much for prayer. So much for prayer. for like a year. I think she was afraid the devil was going to steal his soul. That's fascinating, Red. Really. Personally, I prefer my mirrors on the ceiling. You know, that does sound like seven years bad luck for your partner. You uh, need me help hanging it up? No, no, thanks. I Should we try another seance? Maybe it did work. You mean the mirror? Wasn't here before. Now it is. Let me take care of it, okay? Alright. I'll try not to hurt you too much. 
appreciate the consideration. You might have had a concussion. You were acting really weird. 
Must be all the time in this place. A girl gets lonely. Too bad you're no use. Listen, this isn't you. I don't think you're well. Look, let me take you to your room. Okay. I'm going to find out what's going on. You're not coming in? No. Come on. Just stay here. I'll be back as soon as I can. came to see how you were feeling, you know? I mean, we've had a pretty big step in our relationship and I just want to know how you were feeling. <laughs> Shut your mouth. No, no, no I, th I think we should talk, you know, explore our feelings. Shut your mouth, you've got work to do. What are you doing? This is all we have left. We got hungry. I'm bored, is that a crime? In our present situation, yes. So now, we're building something. Patterns are emerging. New pathways. Hidden symbols. Really? Listen to me. Both of you. Something very, very strange is happening here. Teresa, look at yourself. Relax. She's just having a little fun. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this is fun. Fun? Is that what you call this? Fun? You've eaten all of our food! Why not? I just saw my own funeral, and I think Astrid is sleeping with Travis. That is not fun. I do not feel like having fun. You're so serious all the time, like I was. You have to find the fun in life. This place isn't so bad. Teresa. You know, Bill, I've spent almost my entire adult life, such as it is, in libraries and laboratories, fine tuning my instrument, that's what they called it in the program, waiting for my first assignment, this mission, trying to be the best so I could be first. I couldn't even have a roommate because that would be too distracting. Books, computers, simulators, they were my only company. I couldn't even be around my family because they couldn't accept how I change. I accept you. I know, Arlen, and I appreciate that. You two, stay here. Don't move. Don't do anything. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Bill. Good to see you. I want to speak with Astrid. Now. Are you okay? I mean, you seem a little angry. Do you, do you want to talk? Do I want to talk? You're asking me if I want to talk. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. I thought maybe you wanted to share your feelings. Travis, you're not yourself. Are you trying to tell me I'm not myself? Yeah, that's it exactly. Are you trying to tell me I'm different and that bothers you in some way? Could you please stop mirroring everything I... Oh, no. Are you angry, Bill? Feeling jealous, maybe? You know, anger affects everybody, not just you. Teresa. Shh! Stop it! Teresa? I need your help. Astrid is unavailable. Still playing with Arlo. This is so much fun. Wait, time's over. Your seance did something to us. It did? That's funny. Yes. You're acting infantile. Astrid is uninhibited. And Travis suddenly wants to be my therapist. I don't want to help you, Bill. I want to see what I was making. It's neat. Come on, grow up! <laughs> Why don't you just leave us alone? Huh? Why? Look, just calm down, Arlo. You mealy mouthed little geek. I should have cut you from ear to ear when I had the chance. Now look at you. You're Mr. All High and Mighty like you need to control everything. Well, I won't let you. I'll kill you first. Arlo! Stay out of this. We're going to figure out what those cans mean. Just take it easy, all right? Get the hell out of here. Why don't you go cry over your precious diary, your family, the ones you left behind? Screw this. Come on. 
You are hurting me. What are you trying to do? I'm making sure you're back with me. Are you okay now? I feel strange. Like my will has been deactivated. Splinter. It's as if I can no longer exert the same level of self-discipline that I'm accustomed to. It's that mirror, remember? You asked for us to be seen. Seen and understood. I think that's what the house is doing now. It's exposing some hidden aspect inside each of us. I like the way I feel. It's liberating. I'm not trying to understand or communicate with anyone or anything but myself. I'm not trying to read or scan or assess. It's like, it's just me. For the first time in years, no responsibilities, no requirements. It's because you're indulging some part of yourself that you keep locked away. Don't you understand? That mirror is showing us hidden or unexpressed aspects of our personalities. An imperfect reflection. You are so worried, Bill. So consumed. But there's nothing dangerous about it. Why are you so threatened? I feel light. Why would you want to take that from me? It is dangerous. You and Arlo ate all of our food. Astrid slept with Travis. All right. It is dangerous. But what about you? You don't appear to have been changed. Or don't you possess layers? Do you remember when Ashley was telling us about her mother's beliefs about mirrors? About the devil's looking glass? There's another myth about mirrors. I remember it from my intro psychology course. The world is the mirror of myself dying. Some people believe in mirror divination, that you can look into a mirror and gaze upon the past or the future. What did you see? It doesn't matter. We've got to get that mirror back from Astrid and destroy it. Uh, how's that? Feel better? Way off. Well, can I get you anything? You know, a glass of water? No. It's just that I understand what all this is now. I see it so clearly. Well, don't be upset. Do you want to talk? For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes and famines in various places. This is but the beginning of suffering. The end of all things is at hand. God, are you tense. So gloomy. Look, we have each other. That's all that matters. Yeah, about that. I'm ready to move on, honey. I think we've played this scene about as far as we can. Bill's up next. Maybe Arlo. Or Teresa. But you said you loved me. Don't be hurt. It was fun while it lasted. Okay, it's more about me than you, okay? Feel better? But I love you. And I don't love you. Sorry. Whoa! Ever heard of knocking? The mirror, where is it? What do you want with my mirror? We need to destroy it now. Nobody touches my mirror. It makes me feel good. Free. You could do with a little less of that. Surely you realize you're behaving oddly. Yeah, she broke up with me. Astrid, I understand how you feel. I felt, I feel the same way. It's like a catharsis, like opening up a valve and releasing pressure that's been building for a very, very long time. But it's dangerous too. Our decisions, they've been hurtful, impulsive. Look, you touch my mirror, I break your arm. It's that simple. Don't be angry. It feels so negative. Astrid. I am going to take your mirror, and you are going to permit me to do it. You have to. I warned you, didn't I? Astrid, you have to let us do this! See? That's why you're wrong, Bill. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. Travis, do it! Touch it, Travis, and I'll be wearing your balls as earrings! Travis, destroy it! I know you're going to be mad, but I only want what's best for you. Christ! Hell! God damn it! Oh no. Oh god, no. I think I'm gonna be sick. You alright? I'm perfectly calibrated, thank you. I need to sit down. 
Ashton, are you? The mirror did that to us? Made us act that way? We believe the mirror merely accentuated elements of who we already are. Neglected elements, according to Bill. I want to die. I don't feel bad, Cherry Pie. I like what I saw. I didn't. And you, you took advantage of me. Funny, that's not how I remember everything. I've got the bruises to prove it. Shut up! Guys, you gotta see this. Downstairs. We were seen and understood. So there is something out there. And it wants us to stay for a while. You're all making the same mistake that religious men have made throughout the centuries. Even you, Teresa. You should know better. What do you mean? I mean that it's only us here. No God, no caretaker, and no prison war. During the seance, you detected no intelligence here but our own. And I find you no 